Chris Moore, the Operations Manager for Kitty Hawk Kites Kiteboarding, and I've designed this video, How to Choose a Kite, to help clarify some of the fundamental differences between kiteboarding kites on the market today and how to select the one that best fits your needs. There are many factors to consider when selecting a kite. Uh, amongst those are deciding or knowing what the local conditions are for your riding area, predominantly the wind conditions, the wind speed, and whether it's gusty or smooth wind, and the water conditions that you'll be riding in. Another thing you need to think about is your weight as a kite boarder. Uh, your weight will impact the kite that you need to buy and then also think about the style of kiteboarder that you want to be. How much physical exertion you want to spend kiteboarding, how physically demanding you want it to be, and whether you want to ride aggressively or not. Lastly, think about your budget and the cost of the kiteboarding equipment that you're going to be buying. Take into consideration all these factors and apply it to the general principles that I'll be discussing in this video. factor is to realize that no one kite will cover the entire wind range. Each kite size is intended to fly in a particular wind range. Flying that kite out of its intended wind range, particularly in higher wind than it's intended to be flown in, is an extremely dangerous situation. You'll become overpowered immediately upon the launch of the kite and you could get hurt, hurt badly or damage your equipment. So you need to realize that no one kite covers the entire wind range. What is the wind range that we can safely kiteboard in? The general wind range for kiteboarding is about 10 miles an hour to 25 miles an hour. 10 on the light end, 25 on the high end. Now you can kiteboard in slightly less wind or slightly more wind if you have highly specialized equipment. Um, 10 to 25 miles an hour overall, you would need three kite sizes to cover that wind range. So let's break that down into low wind, medium wind, and high wind. 10 to 15 miles an hour is considered low wind 15 to 20 is considered medium wind, and 20 to 25 miles an hour is high wind. So ideally, you have low wind conditions, medium wind conditions, and high wind conditions, and you have a corresponding kite size for all three of those different conditions. So in light wind, you need a bigger kite to create more power. So in 10 to 15, you need a big kite. In 15 to 20, medium sized wind, you need a medium sized kite. In high wind, 20 to 25 miles an hour, you need a small kite to generate less power. So you need a small kite. What is a big kite, medium kite, and a small kite? Now that gets a little bit finer science and it does depend on the pilot weight and the board size and type. The average kite order will be defined as 175, 180 pounds. If you are an average kite order of that weight, you'd be looking at a big kite being 15 to 17 square meters, a medium kite being 12 to 14 square meters, and a small kite, seven to nine square meters. That's a little bit of a range there, and we'll talk about why there's a range there, because it does depend on how much physical exertion you want to apply when kiteboarding. But those, those kite sizes are in square meters, and it's the total surface area of the kite, not the wingspan. So it's actually the fabric surface area of the kite in square meters. So in review, the most important decision is kite size. No one kite covers the entire wind range. You need three kite sizes to cover the entire wind range. And then most importantly on that, you should always start with your medium sized kite first. Not the small kite, not the big kite, the medium sized kite. So a 12 to 14 square meter kite. And the reason for that medium sized kite is because it has the most utility. It works in the widest wind range because you can actually use that kite in lighter winds, be underpowered, learn the basics in a safe controlled environment, progress up to the medium winds where you're sufficiently powered to go upwind, but then never fly the medium sized kite in high winds. The medium sized kite isn't too small, isn't too big. Too small of a kite, it starts flying really fast, harder to control. Too big, it's slow, harder to control, harder to relaunch. So the medium sized kite is your perfect size to start with 12 to 14 square meters.